This video is aimed at users of Kodi, formerly known as Xbox Media Center or XBMC, and in this case on the Android platform. In my case, I'll be using the Amazon Fire TV and a Google Nexus 7. You may find after showing off Kodi to your friends and family that everyone suddenly wants it either on their Android phone or they go off and buy a Fire TV or similar Android box and want it on there. The issue you have then is that you probably want to copy your own settings across to the box to save having to set it all up each time. Now there's a backup and restore add-on available for Kodi, but you've then got the palaver of getting the backup off the device and onto the new device using Dropbox or whatever. I'm going to show you another method that I think is much simpler. If you're already familiar with installing software on some of the more awkward devices such as the Fire TV, you'll know about sideloading, which is where you use one of the Android developers tools, such as the Android Debug Bridge, to install apps instead of doing it through the App Store or directly on the device. It'd be nice to be able to use a similar method to back up or restore Kodi's configuration in one step, and as it turns out, you can. I'll be using the Mac version of ADB to demonstrate as that's what I've installed it on, but the commands on the PC version are almost identical. You just won't need the dot and forward slash at the start. If you need to know how to install this, I'll put a link in the video description. I don't have any screen recording software on my Mac, so I'll be using the PC to control it remotely. Here's my ADB folder. As you can see, I've added an install folder containing all my APKs, and I also have an install script. Once I connect to the device, I can run this, and it'll automatically install every app in the folder, one after the other. I've already configured Kodi on my Amazon Fire TV with all the add-ons I want. I've also used the XUnity maintenance tool to clear out my caches and logs. So now it's time to connect to it, in this case over the network, and back it up with a single command line. All of the configuration files and add-ons are now getting pulled across to a Kodi subfolder on my Mac. This takes a couple of minutes, but once you see the little handful of files on the end, it's all done. So that's Kodi backed up to my MacBook. Now what? Well, let's disconnect from the Fire TV and connect to my Nexus 7 instead. I just need to make a note of the IP address and enable ADB over the network. Then I'll be able to connect. I've not installed Kodi on this yet, so I'll manually install this first. This will look like it's not doing a lot for a few minutes, but it's busy copying the package across and then installing it. Now that's across, let's push the config. The command is similar to earlier, but there's a push instead of a pull, and the source and destination are now the other way around. Again, this takes a few minutes, during which time you may want to move the screen or whatever, just to keep the unit active, because you don't really want it to go to sleep partway through doing this. Once that last little cluster of files appears in the list, it's all done. As you can see, Kodi's installed and it's already got the weather settings, TV and video add-ons that were on my Fire TV. No more configuration needed. Hope someone finds this useful. Thanks for watching.